Hello and welcome back to yet another canal adventure. You rejoin our journey on the Grand Union Canal through Milton Keynes as we're approaching Bridge 77, beyond which, on the right hand side, there is a winding hole for boats up to 70 foot long. Immediately after the bridge, on the left hand side, there used to be a branch canal running to Newport Pagnell, which had opened in 1817 but was closed by 1848. The branch canal was replaced by a railway, which is also long since closed and has now been replaced by a footpath and cycleway. Newport Pagnell is now more commonly known to motorists as a motorway service station on the M1. This lovely old building was built on the junction of the branch canal in the 18th century. It was built as a pub and had been called the Old Wharf Inn. In more recent times, it has been turned into a private residence. There is a picture of the inn alongside the historic working boat Admiral on their website. I have included a link in the description below. If you do click on the link, scroll all the way down on the page of photographs to get to the one featuring the Old Wharf Inn. <laughs> To our right hand side is Great Linford Park and Playing Fields. We pass the combined sanitary station which looks quite busy and we also go past the Giffard Park Sizzling Pub and Grill. Just beyond Bridge 75 here, there are a number of boats moored up. It looks like there are some decent armco to moor up to, which begs the question, why is no one else moored here? The armco here is an older style, concrete piling with steel reinforcement bars, rather than the newer crash barrier style. If we attempt to moor up here, we'll need to get the mooring pins out and hammer them in. Just past this white painted house is the start of some of the newer Armco, the crash barrier style on steel pilings, which will allow us to use chains or the safety pin mooring hooks. We prefer to use this style of Armco and make use of it wherever we can. I know other narrowboat vloggers have also mentioned about looking for somewhere perfect to moor. I think we all suffer from what I call Goldilocks Syndrome. Our mooring spots have to be just right. Mark heads up to the front of the boat as we're coming in to moor up for a spot of lunch.
Paul brings the centre line from the rear of the boat and holds the boat steady. Noticing a bolt that is sticking out from the armco, we walk the boat forward so our fresh blacking isn't scraped off. Oh, we're just realising that the safety pin mooring hooks have been packed away properly after we last used them and not left one in the bow, one at the stern. Now come on, who'd do a thing like that? <coughs> I offer to hold the centre line whilst the mooring hooks are retrieved from the cupboard. Not a very long vlog this time. Join us after lunch as we continue our journey through Milton Keynes. See you next time.